Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, PDAC 2024 here in Toronto, Commodity TV for you. And we are now at the booth of Forum Energy Metals. And Richard Mazur, the CEO, is here with me. Welcome. Okay, <laughs> nice uh, nice having me on your show. Yeah, thanks for taking the time. And we met us last year, I think, shortly in Zurich. That's great. But uh, we are talking about uranium. Mm -hmm. And we see the Adabasca Basin, but we see also Nunavut. So maybe you give us a short idea on the company and then we go and make us Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, yeah so Forum's been in the uh, uranium business for 20 years now. I started Forum in 2004. Mm -hmm. uh, we've acquired a very uh, good land position in the Athabasca Basin here. Uh, the Athabasca Basin is in uh, northern Saskatchewan. Mm -hmm. uh, also, we are exploring in the Nunavut Territory in, in northern Canada mm -hmm. in what is called the Thelon Basin. Mm -hmm. And the Thelon Basin is a, a geologic analog to the Athabasca Basin. We uh -huh. feel that it has the same kind of potential uh, to find very large uranium deposits. I mean, there's a, uh, billions of pounds of uranium in the Athabasca. We think this basin has the same okay. wow. same uh, potential. Uh -huh. That's and interesting. How did you come on Nunavut? Because Nunavut to me is famous for, let's say, greenstone belts, for copper, silver, gold especially. Yeah? Yeah. Now you come with uh, uranium. I think that's the first one I, I, I hear about that in uh, Nunavut. So. How, how well, I've been keeping it a big secret so uh -huh, that okay. I can get all the good ground. <laughs> I see. Um, okay. No, so uh, as a young geologist, I, I in the 1970s, I explored in Nunavut for four years mm -hmm. looking for uranium. And it was during that time period that we recognized that it was very similar to the Athabasca Basin. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, uh, since that time, uh, there's been a lot of good good smart people uh, exploring there that have definitely verified uh, that this this has the same kind of potential. Uh, a young lady uh, that is now our VP Exploration, Dr. Rebecca Hunter, mm -hmm. was working for Cameco in the last uranium cycle uh, next door to the Kigovic uranium deposit. Mm -hmm. There is an economic deposit here. Mm -hmm called Kigovic, which mm -hmm. Arano, the French nuclear corporation. Oh, yes, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they were, uh, last uranium cycle, they were doing a feasibility yeah. study. Uh, but when the uranium price went down, they put the, the project on care and maintenance. I, I uh, was working up there, Forum was working up there to the east of Kigovic and Cameco. Uh, Dr. Hunter was exploring for 12 years uh, it, it, on, on their property mm -hmm. to the west mm -hmm. of the Uranos Kigovic deposit. Yeah. And she made two very significant discoveries of uranium. Um, during the downturn in uranium, the ground was let go. I mean, mm -hmm. Cameco let the, let the ground go. Yeah, they left everything. <laughs> go. Yeah. They left everything yeah, worldwide. Yeah. That's yeah, right. Yeah. And this area was part of their global uh, uranium focus. Yeah. They let it go. And three years ago, I staked it all. Wow. Uh, yeah. Chemicals. You the right nose, I would say. <laughs> As well, we say in German. I, I've been, yeah, I, I, have, I have a nose for good value. Yeah. Yes. And, and, and I, 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 I recognized, uh, well, when I saw that it was open and, and I saw the uranium market starting to come back again, as we predicted, uh, I mean, uranium is here to stay mm -hmm. for a long time, mm -hmm. so oh, yeah. I staked it. Uh, Dr. Hunter, uh, who's now our VP Exploration, while at Cameco, probably spent $50 million on this project and made, and made yeah. had enough money to make those discoveries. So uh, for me, it was just uh, the best business deal, Super. best staking job of my career. Okay, let's come to this year. What are you doing there? What is the work plan? How, how does it fit in your longer strategy? Yeah, so this past summer, uh, I raised $3 million from a strategic investor mm -hmm. that currently holds 9.9% uh, 9 .9 interest in, in our company. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't disclose who that is because uh, we've signed a, a non-disclosure no agreement. Uh, we drilled it this summer. We proved 
that uh, exactly what, what, what we're saying. This is a, a geologic analog to the Athabasca Basin. We got some terrific Athabasca grades uh, style mm -hmm. of mineralization mm -hmm. to 2.25 percent over 11 meters. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a high grade, high tonnage uranium district or mm -hmm. camp. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, some very smart uh, investment bankers in Toronto um, recognize that as well. Uh, their mining analyst recognized uh, it, it, the potential. Um, Dave Talbot at, at Red Cloud Securities uh, mm -hmm. recognized what we have and we, Dave. Yeah. we raised uh, $10 million. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so this summer, mm -hmm. two drills, 10,000 meters, 40 holes mm -hmm. is the game plan. Wow, that's a lot. And you started already with the drilling? No. Uh, we're, in, we're, we're in northern Canada. Yeah. There's still lots of snow on the ground. That's right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so the, the snow will be going away uh, by uh, April, May. Uh, right now, uh, here's the small town of Baker Lake. Uh, the local uh, uh, Inuit expediting company mm -hmm. is, 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 has uh, snow cats mm -hmm. uh, and sleds yeah. that they bring yeah. the drills in okay. over land wow. like this. Okay. Uh, so we'll have about uh, uh, 20 trips mm -hmm. uh, to bring all the gear in. That's happening in March and April. Mm -hmm. May, we build the camp. We're, we're building a camp on, yeah. camp on site. Okay. June, we'll be drilling. Super. And results July, hopefully. <laughs> Maybe well, a bit too fast, but... Uh. Well, well, results will be yeah. immediate because yeah. uh, we, we uh, measure the radioactivity in, yeah. In, yeah. in the whole. Actual assay results will be more like probably in, in, in August, yeah. September. Okay. So how would that work in the future? Let's assume there will be a uranium mine because this is, let's say, a little bit out of the boonies. We know Meadowbank from Magnico Eagle, that's a big mine place, of course. Yep. Yeah. But um, otherwise, I would say infrastructure is maybe not that much there, right? No. Uh, our program is helicopter supported. Yeah. There is a road mm -hmm. that yep, to uh, was built to Meadowbank. Yeah. It's a hundred kilometers to their mm -hmm. their site. Uh, our site is about a hundred kilometers to the west. Mm -hmm. So uh, building a road there uh, would not be out of the question. Mm -hmm. uh, and or you, you could build a winter road mm -hmm. to to move supplies okay. in and out. Yeah. Uh, to to build to build the uh, to build the uh, process facility, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Mm -hmm. uh, when it becomes a mine. Yeah, exactly. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> Maybe there's an idea that we put in here on SMR that to power Meadowbank and your mine then. <laughs> that might be an idea. <laughs> well, SMR technology, yeah. that's the wave of the future. And it, Absolutely. Uh, it's not coming. It's here yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, for your viewers in Europe, uh, we're building one here in, in Ontario mm -hmm. uh, right now. Uh, GE, a General Electric mm -hmm. Hitachi unit, 300 megawatts, wow. uh, is being built uh, here in, in Ontario, east of Toronto, Ontario. Cool. Uh, wow. and, and that, right now, that it should be um, should be online by 2030. So, mm -hmm. these small modular reactors are. Uh, That's the future. That is the future. Yeah, I see yeah. it definitely. Super. Absolutely. So fantastic. Yeah. So okay, we're so you have large drill program. Then we get results in summer. Yeah. And uh, then you have to decide where to go. Yeah. What well, else? right now we're going to go to Europe. So yeah. uh, <laughs> after yeah. uh, PDAC here, yeah. uh, we are uh, uh, Dr. Hunter mm -hmm. will be uh, doing a road show mm -hmm. in Munich. Yeah. Frankfurt and Berlin okay. in uh, March, between March 12th and 14th. Uh, we're going to the Swiss uh, uh, Mining Institute mm -hmm. Conference Good. in uh, Zurich. March 2021 yeah. in Zurich. Yeah. So we're really trying to get out and, and reaching out to the European investment Perfect. community because I don't want them to be left out. This is no. this is going to be a major world-class discovery. Definitely. Super. Richard, thank you very much. We wish you all the best for that. <laughs> and uh, please find as much as uranium as possible because the world needs it. Absolutely. Super. Thank, thank you, you very much. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Pleasure. Okay. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it was Richard Mazur, the CEO of uh, Foam yeah, Energy Metals. And... Uh, 
yeah, interesting company, Luna Wood. I really did not think about that so far, but uh, it looks like they are really onto something big. And yeah, you really should check out that company. Thanks for watching us and bye-bye from PDAC 2024.